Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Life's a Project. So today is the day for the update video for the Spectricide Bagabug Japanese Beetle Trap. So guys, it's been four days since installing this Japanese beetle trap into the garden and I did a full video on that four days ago, so I hope you will check that video out. I'll put a link in this video. But you can just see down in the bag how many beetles are in here. Plenty of beetles in here, super happy with that. So first off, I would recommend this product. It works. I would purchase it again and use it. It was easy to set up and for under $6, really inexpensive. So if you watched the first video where I put this whole thing together, you'll know that I did not initially place this trap in this location. I placed it much farther away underneath my deck, kind of out of the way, uh, so it wouldn't be kind of an eyesore. I also placed a five gallon bucket underneath the trap. It had some water in it that would catch the excess beetles that did not make it into the bag and they would kind of fall into the bucket. So I would catch more bugs that way. But I did express in that video where I was kind of concerned for that location being too out of the way even though the instructions on the package do state to place the trap about 30 feet away. You can see here that I did move it after only catching a couple of bugs in the bag and a couple of bugs in the bucket that it was not going to work. So I placed it much closer to the garden. Now, some may say it's too close, that you're drawing your beetles into your garden, but I have not found that to be true. So after 24 hours of being underneath the deck and not really catching any beetles um, and moving it out to this new location, so the past three days it's been in this location and the bulk of the beetles have been caught over a two day period. The last 24 hours I've noticed that not as many beetles have been attracted to the trap. Now it does say in the instructions that after four to five days you should change out the bag. Now it does come with an extra bag so that's good because the smell of the day beetles can kind of deter or repel the beetles from coming to the trap. So guys, it is now day five, 24 hours after replacing the bag. And guys, you just got to do it because it has made such a difference. Replace the bag and now I have plenty more beetles in this trap. And that means a lot less beetles in the garden. And I've only seen really a couple of beetles here or there, you know, kind of hanging out on leaves. Really haven't seen a lot of damage anymore in the garden. So I'm really happy with that. Like I said, this product it has convinced me it does work and I'm really loving it. So you may notice that I do not have a bucket underneath this you know, trap. When I moved it out here to this location, I really didn't want to have the bucket killing my grass. If you don't care about that sort of thing, place the bucket there, you'll probably catch more beetles. So you can see all the beetles inside of here. So if you are battling the beetle, give this product a try. I thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope you check out the first video so you can see the entire thing. And I hope you will subscribe to my channel here, Life's a Project. Follow me on Instagram and Pinterest. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.